Hi, it's me again. Um, so apparently, U.S. Senator Cynthia Loomis just asked the Department of Justice to criminally charge Binance and Tether for facilitating transactions to the bad guys. And this is all due to that Wall Street Journal article that came out indicating that crypto and Bitcoin was created just to fund bad, illicit things. I want to remind you guys a couple things here, okay? Um, first and foremost, the first mint of fiat, the dollar, was done in, I think, like 1794. So that's like two, 300 years of like illicit transactions being done with something you can't track, something you can't track. Yeah, it's got the cute little serial numbers on that. We love it. We're so happy for it. Yay. But you really can't do that as like a person, as a civilian. Okay, and then we have this thing called like Bitcoin crypto. It was created like out of 2008, so a little bit, you know, under 20 years. But you can 100% track this because it's all available on the public blockchain. You can see all of this outside of privacy coins, okay? So you can see all this public information. So essentially crypto and Bitcoin actually helps you catch the bad guys and helps you catch um, when bad things happen. So you can like stop it, right? So that being said, this Wall Street Journal article um, cited incorrect information. This person published incorrect information and will not retract it. And it was like 99% incorrect. In addition to that, what was it? Like 100 or 20% of Congress signed off on the letter from Ms. Warren, like indicating like, yes, we agree with her, even though this information is not real or not true um, or mostly untrue. So we had that happen today. Um, but Ms. Senator Cynthia Loomis wants to go after um, Tether and Binance. Again, I'm not saying they're 100% innocent. I'm not saying they don't catch every bad transaction, They, you know, whatever, because nothing is 100% perfect, okay? Um, there's bad actors in every industry. But what I'm saying here is I do know that Binance does have a compliance team. I do know that Tether was audited, I want to say, by the NYAG and had to, like, show proof of reserves and do all that type of stuff. And both companies, even though they're not perfect, again, not saying they're perfect, I'm simply saying they have actually stopped bad transactions from happening, okay? But I've got a question for Ms. Loomis, okay? Question for her. Um, JP Morgan paid a $70 million fine to settle the JE ties. You know who JE is, right? He did really, really bad things to like innocence, you know? And the T word, um, that happens. And it's still very much happening in America today. Okay. Very, very much happening. Um, and it's never going to go away. And a lot of this is facilitated and funded with US dollars because guess what? You can't track it. Okay. You can't track this. But what I find is very interesting is $75 million fine to settle. And it was even less than that because they actually donated some of those proceeds for the $70 million, $75 million to organizations that help survivors. Um, the interesting thing about that is a lot of those organizations that claim to help specific people, they were created by the people that are doing that type of stuff. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and research it. That's neither here nor there. Um, so currently, J.P. Morgan, and this is just Googling it up, because again, idiot on the internet here. J.P. Morgan has a net worth of four point, or excuse me, four hundred and eight point twelve billion dollars as of October twenty fourth, twenty twenty three, and their market cap has increased twenty five point sixteen percent. And I'm just gonna do another quick Google search, because again, idiot on the internet here. Um, I googled how much, how much in assets does J.P. Morgan manage? Manage. $3.9 trillion in total assets that J.P. Morgan Chase manages. And they are the fifth largest banking institution by assets in the world. The firm operates the largest investment bank in the world by revenue. So our good friends over at J.P. Morgan that facilitate um, transactions. And I want to say their coin just dropped too. I want to say their coin just dropped. And they just processed um, $1 billion worth of transactions on their private blockchain. So not only are these guys facilitating um, bad transactions and other bad illicit stuff harming innocents. Um, but they now created a private blockchain. If I said public before, I apologize. A private blockchain to facilitate transactions, okay? So it's being private, so you can't track it just like cash. So while we have these people doing horrible bad things and facilitating transactions, accepting money and compensation from public servants, um, they're going after Binance and Tether right now for incorrect information, 99% incorrect information. That was proven to be incorrect because you can track everything on a blockchain because it's public, it's open, people can see it, okay? So this is the problem that we're facing in America. This is the problem we're facing in the world is that we're going to and continue to get um, attacked in crypto um, because you can track it. It's all public, but they're going to manipulate this narrative and make you think that crypto is bad when in reality, in reality, you can actually use crypto and Bitcoin to track the bad guys and to find out what they're doing. One plus one equals 69 here. And again, and the Fed 
taxes are a scam. Public servants are absolutely atrocious. There should be term limits and they should not be allowed to invest, trade, or accept any types of lobbying money. But again, pay your crypto taxes, pay all of your taxes because you got to do that. But this is what we're facing in America today on a global scale. Thanks for watching. Bye.